forgot to turn my my mic on. Uh, sorry, the lighting is so uh, blaringly light, bright. That's what I meant. It's it's of course light, but it's bright. Um, yeah. So I just got out of the shower. I'm ready to get to work. So I didn't get to film last week because I was having a really hard time. Last week, emotionally, I was feeling really tired and then kind of like a failure and just not very positive at all. And I didn't really want to film because I just was feeling that way and I also didn't want to like, I didn't really want to bring that energy to my vlogs and I, I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but I really want these vlogs to be something you guys enjoy and you get to watch and make you feel better and not like bum you out and obviously I want to be real about stuff but when I'm like too too out of it I don't know if I'll be filming um but this week I'm doing good physically my body's like mm -hmm. but emotionally I'm like doing good doing good so we'll see like what I can get done with my physical struggle I'm just really tired I'm not, I have insomnia and I'm just not sleeping great and it could be totally worse, but it just makes it a little harder to like get stuff done. Um, but today I, uh, I started a new sleep schedule for me. I was trying to be a, uh, 8, uh, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. kind of girl and I hated it. I just, I like, I liked it at first and then I was still tired every time I woke up and I felt bad because then I couldn't sleep because I was going to bed too early and then I would get up later because I couldn't sleep and I knew I wouldn't work <laughs> well if I had no sleep. So I started this like, I tried to pay attention to what was my natural sleep schedule and I noticed like, a let go to bed, get up at 10 a.m., go to bed at 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. I can't even talk. Ah. Get up at 10 a.m. and go to bed at 1 a.m. <laughs> and that was perfect. That was perfect. Sweet spot. For the most part, I wake up feeling really good. The first two days I tried it, because I was like, I'm not gonna let myself feel guilty because this is gonna be my sleep schedule. So how I kind of work now is I get up around, I wake up around 10. I do some, um, just while I'm in my room before breakfast and everything, I get like all my, I get my god time done and then I will check like emails and stuff and then maybe I'll do a social media post or something like that and then I go down and I have breakfast and I spend about a half hour just like relaxing and then I start work and then I work until dinner time which is around 5 or 5 30 and then I can take a like a four hour break and then I come back to work and like do stuff late because I work way better at night um Right now, I'm struggling with my studio because I think part of the reason I was stressing out last week is my studio is a wreck. It is, it's my bedroom, which I'm sure you guys have noticed from my last vlog, which I still haven't finished editing. Vlog too many! <laughs> I'm just going to record and never edit because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think that works. <laughs> um... But anyway, where was I at? I keep looking away from the camera because I don't remember what I'm saying and when I'm talking to other people. I don't always look at them when I'm thinking. I like will think and then I'll look back. So I'm gonna try not to do that, but I, I definitely do that a, a lot. Um, I'm doing it again because I don't know where I was, <laughs> what I was saying. I wish you guys could talk to me and be like, you were talking about blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, yes, that's what I was talking about. Thank you for getting me on track, but there's kind of a time lag with, with vlogs, you know? You guys aren't going to see this until, like, another two weeks. <laughs> um, I do want to do a vlog a week, kind of, or a vlog every two weeks to start and do shorter ones because I think shorter are better when you're beginning because I don't have a ton of people watching my vlogs and... Um, I'm terrible at getting vlog giving vlogs a chance to get good. I'm like, I'm already bored. I'm done. I'm done. Wow, this like lighting is so bad. I don't have better lighting, and I have to record, so I'm really sorry. Ah, I probably should stop rambling. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'll do a little time lapse for you guys. I'll show you what's going on, what it looks like, 
uh, we'll start. Guys, so this is what we're looking at right now. It is my room, very messy. Um, I, this is a duffel bag that I packed with my favorite clothes because we had a fire uh, suspicion and we had to call the fire department and I wanted to make sure I had my clothes that I couldn't replace. So I need to take care of that. I have laundry here, not a lot, thankfully. Uh, this is a heated blanket because we were out of heat for forever. That was a friend's, I need to get that back to her. I'll probably store it somewhere not in my room for now. Um, this is where my Cricut is, and I have like paintbrushes and like a couple clothing things there. This will not look super neat, but I'm gonna like kind of shove it back a little farther. Um, I had this decorated for Christmas. I have not put all of that away and made it the way it normally is, so I'm gonna try to tackle that. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to get done today. These prints need to go um, away. Some of them need to get cut. I'm not going to be able to do all of it today. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it all this week. Because there's a lot there. And there's even more down here. Um, this isn't too bad. Um, I already organized this really nicely. I do have a couple of random stuff on top that I need to take care of. Um... I need to put some of the sewing stuff away, and those are more prints that I have to cut, uh, and then more prints up there I have to cut. Again, not going to get it all done. And um, so this is like my studio bedroom. Uh, I'll show you, I'm not going to show you the side of the closet because uh, it's not really organized yet. I mean, I guess I could show you. I don't think there's anything too scary. Uh, a lot of print storage down here. I do need to um, get, I have more of these in the closet that I have to find and I need to get the rest of them so I can put my Posca paint pens up there. I'm bummed because my like Alice in Wonderland poster is kind of getting hidden. I'm hoping the top piece at least will get be shown once it all is all done. Um, this side of the closet looks nicer. Um, I have some frames that I want to hang that are in here. Oh, darn it. I totally forgot to put the mic on this. Audio isn't going to be as crisp. I'm sorry. I'll try to remember next time. I don't know if I want to record it because isn't that what vlogging is? <laughs> you know, whatever happens, happens. So, anyway, I want to um, reorganize this a little bit. Those are the frames I want to hang. So, I don't know if I'll... Again, I don't know what I'll get done today. Because we have family night tonight. And I'm getting a late start because I already did some painting today. And then I had to jump in the shower. So, and my new schedule is later. So, uh, late start and the family is probably coming over around 5. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing uh, this week, I don't know how much I'll get done because I have other stuff I have to do. Uh, these charms over here are just here because I have to do more product photography with them. These are the ones I didn't get done. I had done half of them, but I didn't get to finish because my lighting got weird. And I did that last week. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get to work. I shouldn't have taken that trash can out. Cause now I need it. That was stupid. I should have kept it. Ah. I have another one. Where's my camera? <laughs> I have another one. It's usually over there. Uh, but it's kind of small. And I don't want to put a ton of stuff in it. I'm watching Jisoo over here. So that's the other person talking. 
Okay, I got some packages today. Well, one was yesterday. Um, but I'm gonna open them up for you. Whoa, I'm falling over, I'm kneeling on the floor. Um, and show you what I got. I'm super excited. Let's open the boring one first. packaging uh, but this is what I got these are chipboard and they are for putting um, in my 5x7 uh, mailers for when I uh, send prints to keep my prints safe and not bend and I ran out and I needed some this one is from sticker mule I purchased some acrylic pens that I'm very excited about and I have not seen these. This is an actual reveal. <sighs> First impressions. I often have a bad um, habit of, not habit, but sometimes my packages, things I order do not look great. So I'm really hoping uh, these look amazing because I'm very excited to sell these and um, on the next shop update, which should be later this month in February. It's going to be Rosie Boo product and then Haunted Mansion stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. All right, these are really cute. <laughs> I wasn't sure because they're super small and um, it is a chibi design, but I was really concerned they wouldn't be very cute. But these, here, let me refocus. Look how cute those are. Oh my gosh. You can't see the little ghosts very well, but it's really cute. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited to have these on my shop. I can't wait to get this one as a, um, an, a charm too. I'm gonna get it as a, a sparkly charm. It's gonna be so fun. I can show you my other Rosie Boo charm that I already did. Um, let me grab it. Okay. So this is it. It's super cute. It's got a little heart clamp and it's um, sparkly too. I don't know if you can see that with this camera. I promise I'll get a new camera 
soon-ish, maybe, if I can. Super cute. This is Rosie Boo. She is my character, and this is Mr. Pumpkin, and this is Miss Chibi Artist's character. You can find um, her on Instagram. But they're so cute. I love them together. Uh, I'm so excited the acrylic charms look good. Well, I will definitely have to share, you, share with you guys some product photos when I get those done, hopefully this week. Okay, I just have to say this, uh, I'm recording, or not recording, I'm editing my first vlog right now, and oh my gosh, I'm a disaster because I am watching it over, and the painting clips with the different angles are in random spots, like, I'll show part of the painting and it's and then I show the next clip and it's like before that part it just it literally makes no sense and I'm just why why could you have not paid more attention and the thing is is the problem is the I voiced over it with the mistakes so I'm explaining what I'm doing and it's it's not even in the right order How? I'm hoping this vlog is better. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna be able to fix it, but I'm just like, oh, and, and before I even noticed it, I had made things in reverse. I like had clicked the button when I, cause you would time stretch stuff to make it go faster. I still like, kept clicked reverse, so it was literally unpainting stuff so I I can't edit nope
Okay, so everyone that orders from me gets this cute little freebie print. Um, if you get a bigger package, you get a bigger one, but this is the size that fits in this package, and these are for my charms. And then I write their name on the back. My handwriting is getting better. <laughs> so see? Here, hold on. There we go. Yeah. Pretty cute. And then they get a business card. So thank you, Brian. And then she ordered a Sally later charm. And it all just goes in here. And these don't fit perfectly, so I do add washi on them to kind of close it so it's a little more fitted in the bag. So I don't want it sliding around. I'd eventually like to get twine, but I haven't gotten any yet. Sometimes the charms will fit the other way around and they look better that way, but this one didn't. All right. Just slide it in there and seal it up. And then I put a little, or a little branding. And I just have to print out the label and send this off to her. Hey, it's me again. Did you uh, forget my face? Because I haven't shown it to you in a hot sec. It's already March 1st and I haven't checked in and I don't know how long. And this is gonna be the last day of the vlog. So, sorry. Uh, next month's vlog is gonna be a lot of me preparing for my next uh, Comic-Con. I have three conventions in April that I have to get ready for so there's gonna be a lot of convention prep if that's something uh, you're interested in uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of that and so just to end this vlog I actually wanted to show you guys my journal that I set up for March I did a really cute like mushroom like Victorian mushroom theme for March and it's it's so cute I am so happy with it and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So I'm gonna show you this and then we're gonna end the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for coming. I think it's better than the first one but I haven't even started editing it so I can't really say that for sure. But I feel like it's better. I feel like it has to be better. 
If it's not, I'm sorry and thank you for staying till the end. But I hope you like my journal and I hope you come for March vlog. Very excited about it. I will try to do better at saying hello to you more often. I think I just forget or I'm like, oh, my hair just doesn't look good. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to get all my equipment out. I'm just lazy sometimes, you know. I just want to get all my other crap done. And I forget that I want to show you some fun things that I'm working on. So I will try to do better at that. For sure. All right. Uh, let me show you the spread and I'll let you go. So my journal is incredibly chunky as you can see. I still have to get a few months through and it's it's a bit much. I don't really know why. It must be that I like to put too thick a stuff in it because it is like super super big but this is a notebook therapy one so I'm not too worried about ruining the binding um, in it but it does concern me that I won't be able to fit all the stuff I have. So Anyway, this is, whoa, that is super blown out. I am sorry. Let's fix that there. That's so much better. Look at that. So this is my March spread. I normally don't do this. I probably won't do it again because it's kind of like pointless for me, but it was pretty and I wanted to do something cute and I really love how this came out. And I love 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 this mushroom lady she's so pretty i really like how her sleeves came out and pretty much everything about her um so i did the uh backdrop on um procreate and then i added all of the metallic details obviously by hand and i painted her by hand this right here these cute little mushrooms i don't know if you can see them but oh my gosh they are so cute. I just, I love, I love the little, the little mushrooms. They just make me really happy. And then this is a spread that I normally would do and I normally do. And this is something that I'll keep for sure. And it's just an overview of the, my calendar. And I'll write down things that are important that I have to get done and deadlines I have or appointments and such. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I'm trying to use it more stuff on it but it's cute I really like this one this is this um, mushroom gal the dress is based off the uh, crimson peak dress in I don't remember what scene it's in but there's a yellow dress that she has with a beautiful black bow so that's what that's based off of ink caps are my favorite I'm actually gonna redo this gal in a digital form and she is going to be a cute little die cut sticker and I might even do a Victorian sticker stationery set with a whole bunch of ink caps Victorian vibes so I might do that you can watch out for that I'm very excited this one's my least favorite spread but I think it still came out really good and I am excited to use it I have my two habits here. I was doing like five and I noticed that I just wasn't doing them at all. So I decided to put my most important habits, which is drinking more water and I have eye exercises that I have to do. So those are my two important habits I wanna have be doing consistently all the time. And then I have my notes and then I, this is my master list and I like to write down my focus, which is all the important things I absolutely have to get done that month. And then extra credit things that if I get them done, great. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. And I'm starting to learn. I'll put things on the focus and think that's really important. I have to get it done. And then I realize that it's not really the most important. So I'm starting to learn what should go in which category. Um, this is also very cute. So... I'm very excited about this mushroom theme. This was super hard to cut out though, but it came out really cute. And these, this gal is going to be a sticker as well. And I want to do a theme based on these kinds of mushrooms. So I have um, my days. So I like to theme my days and I need to fill this out. So like one theme will be like art or product creation 
or maybe YouTube or Patreon slash Etsy. So those are some themes that I have. I'm going to skip the first week because I already started that. Oh, and then this is my focus. I think I meant to put this on every week. So what I'll probably do is I'll write like week one, week two, week three, week four. And write down like what I have to focus on this week. Um, like this week I'm doing all my inventory stuff for taxes. Which is super stressful because I haven't done it in forever and I need to do it. So I'm, I'm getting through it pretty quickly so that's nice. But that's my focus for this week. And then this is kind of like what a week two. So I have my tasks, my notes, and then my days breakdown. And I love how this week five came out. It's super cute. And I love this like cutout right here. I'm actually leaving on this day. I need to fill it in that I'm leaving. This is the day that I fly out for all my April shows and I'm very excited. I do want to show you guys a sneak peek of the April themes because I wanted to finish them really early so that I don't have to even think about it. And it doesn't have to be as extreme as these themes because I'm not going to be gone as, or what am I trying to say? I don't need to have as much room to do stuff because I'm just going to be doing conventions and I'm just going to be going, going, going and I'm not going to really be doing any specific tasks other than trying to keep up with YouTube and Instagram. Um, but this is the spread so far. It is so cute. I feel like this isn't focusing correctly. Here, let's try that again. There we go. Sorry it's so dark. I don't have the best lighting in here. But this is super cute. I have my little fairy tag and my April theme. I'm going to put a quote here that I'm working on and my master list and my notes and then these are my weeklies and those aren't finished yet but oh so yeah it's super cute I'm really excited to use it for the little bit that I get to but yeah that's my journal I just wanted to show you because I thought you might think it was cute I got this from notebook therapy I really like it because it's super soft but thank you guys so much for coming to my vlog. If you stayed for the whole thing, here, I want to have something on screen. If you stayed for the whole thing, I really, really appreciate it. I hope to see you next month and I'm hoping to do vlogs every other week, but I'm really slow at editing because I'm not used to it yet and I will get faster and I will get better, but it's going to take some time. But I hope to see you there and have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. Alright, bye!